Jeez. I hit it! You hit it. Now, how long ago was this? Like a year ago. So like a year ago, we installed this range hood and showed a how-to video on how to do it. And it is one of our most popular videos. And people have several people have requested on the comments on that for me to show how I did the duct work into the attic to the outside. And the reality is, <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. What I did was ran the duct work just to a vent, and I've been meaning to get to it to finish and do it the right way, and I haven't. So I'm gonna do that now and show you guys how to run duct work. My first step in running this exhaust line is my exhaust vent or my exhaust hood. I bought two of these, not knowing which one was gonna work the best on this and then I'll just return whichever one I don't use. But I'm my plan is that the ventilation attic vent that's already up there, I'm just gonna cut a hole in that, mount one of these into it directly into the vent so I don't have to drill a hole through the the roof or the house or anything like that. And uh, and then I'll remount my vent once this is mounted on there. Connect my hose onto the back side of this. So I'm gonna hop up on the roof right now, take down that vent and we're gonna see which one of these works best. I am in my attic now. That over there is where it's coming out from the kitchen. This is how I had it suspended, just by this vent. Now, or I just, hold on just a second, let me get in a better position here. No, I just mentioned a second ago that I was gonna try and just cut this vent and mount right through that. But this vent, and maybe, I don't think I want to do that. This vent is nailed in place. I assumed it was like a, like a screwed on, easy to take off vent, but it is not. So I'm not gonna to touch that vent. I've looked all through here and weighed my options on the best place to put this. I'm gonna use this vent as a spring on the back here that allows air to go out and seals when it's coming back in. So right here on the outside of my roof, what's happening is my roof line's here, and then I have another pitched roof that's up above this. And if I place this right here, it's gonna be protected by the roof here. It's gonna hang over it, and uh, should be a, a, a pretty out of the way kind of corner here. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So to drill this, I have a six inch hole saw, which is what this needs to be here. This has some teeth on it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna have to flex that around the hole so I don't wanna stick it through right there and get it stuck. And then it has a couple screw holes. I'm also gonna add a bead of caulk, some real high-end roof caulk around this and in my holes just to help prevent water. Although this should be a really protected spot. I don't know if you can see this, but the roof goes out maybe two feet past this hole. So it should be should be a really protected spot. Okay, I'm gonna go on out to the outside now and mount this. Okay, let me back up just a bit. So I just mounted that vent. You can see here how it's totally protected in this alcove. And I had to squeeze in there, mounted it up, put a big glob of caulk all the way around it, which is totally overkill, not even necessary. You 
can also see my arch nemesis a bunch of wasps that I just sprayed freaking hate wasps one time as a kid I was riding my four-wheeler in my parents orchard and there must have been a wasp hive in one of the trees I parked underneath because I was talking to my sister I think and all of a sudden I just started getting stung and stuff and stung in my pants took off on the four-wheeler smacking myself so ever since then I've been terrified of wasps so now I'm gonna go on the inside connect up that hose and then I'll probably come up here one more time just to see it in action in fact while I'm up here I'm gonna use this caulk on anything that needs it now I'm ready to attach my hose to this I made a little mistake this is a my hose clamp and it's the wrong size. I needed a six inch and I, this is like a four inch or something like that. So this has teeth on it. I will be able to attach this up on there and then I'll just on, on another day, it's too late at night, on another day I'll grab a hose clamp and connect this the right way. But what I'm going to do is cut this to length here. These teeth on here actually hold that really good. But I'm still gonna add a hose clamp later on. Sweet. And there you have it. Now let's go on the outside and I'll have Sarah turn it on and we'll watch it work. Thanks for watching. And if anyone has a request for another video of home repair or home renovation, leave those in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Hey everybody! <laughs> so my first step in mounting... <laughs> Why are you trying to do like a surprise? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is this even called?